In this lesson, we're talking about ref links. Although they're not a core component of the chatbot experience, they can be very valuable in some use cases. So the big question is, what exactly are ref links? It's a way to deep link to a specific part of the bot that is either accessible to all users who are coming in organically or only accessible secretly to the users you share the link with. So let me show you two examples. I'm gonna create a new group here, and let's say that we're running a Black Friday sale, but we only want people on our email list to be able to access it. In other words, we're gonna give them a special discount and run a special campaign only accessible to them, not accessible to normal users just messaging our bot through our page. So what I could do here is call this group, let's say Black Friday sale. I'll create a block here that contains a coupon code and we'll say use the code black 50 or something like that. Black Friday 50% off, cool. So we have that coupon code and the beauty of this is that we are driving people from our email list to our bot and in that process they're becoming a subscriber. So then what we could do to promote this via our email list is click this link button up here. And if you don't see it, it's because your bot isn't connected to a page. So you need to connect your bot to the page before you can generate this link. So you can click this, enable the slider, and then click copy URL and done. Now you can send this link to your email list or anybody else and they will be able to access this content exclusively through that link and people, again, messaging the bot organically or coming in through an ad won't have access unless you decide to give them access by making this block accessible through a button. So to make it accessible through a button, you could do something like on the welcome message, say, tap below to get your coupon, add a button that says claim now, link to that coupon code block, and now it's accessible. But in the absence of this button linking to it, it's only accessible through that ref link, which is a direct link. Ref links can also be very valuable if you have a very extensive sales funnel or conversation and you need to test something for yourself or you want a friend to test it, you can generate a link to that specific block that's very deep in the flow so users can go directly there without having to go through all the hassle of the rest of the bot essentially. One other key point to mention with reflinks as well is in terms of the customer chat plugin, which we just talked about. So if I go to the grow tab here and enable the customer chat plugin, I can type in my domain that I wanna use the plugin on, in this case, chatfuel.com or whatever your business website is. And then on top of that, you can, as mentioned in the previous video, embed certain experiences and certain entry points on different pages of a website. So say that you have a services page, you could embed the services ref link there that takes them down a funnel to select the services they'd prefer versus a reservations page, let's say, where it could be a different experience. So to do that, you can then here in the grow tab, choose the ref parameter that you'd like to use, and then ChatFuel will generate this code for you. You can embed that on the website and it'll start instead of with the welcome message from that specific entry point. However, the only downside of doing this is that unlike with Facebook's customer chat plugin setup, you cannot customize the language or colors. You still can do that, but you'd have to do it in the code itself. There's no easy visual way currently in chat field to do that. So those are ref links in a nutshell. Hopefully you will start using them in your bot. They're super valuable for testing and also giving exclusive content to people wherever they might be coming from.